Hey kids, today it's all about science. So I'll be reading this book, which is the story about water. Bundi story, water. Bundi story, water by Anushka Kalro, Rajashri Rai, Sankhalini Nath and Shubhangi Goel. Bundi was a little drop of water. He swam all day in a river with many, many other drops like himself. He rolled and tumbled in the water. Sometimes he would get into a fish's mouth. Oh no! But he would quickly jump out again. One day, Bundi came to the surface of the water. It was hot with the sun shining down on him. Soon he felt as if he was floating up 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 there he was Bundi was rising higher and higher in the sky why was he feeling so light where was he going the higher he went the cooler it got around him there were other little drops of water some of them had frozen into ice they all huddled together and became a big cloud As more and more drops joined in, the cloud got darker and heavier and Bundi and his friends began to tumble out. They all fell down together from the sky, whoosh, as rain. Some of them pattered onto roofs, others filled up rivers, lakes, ponds and wells. Some soaked into the ground and made a pool of water below. Where did Bundi go? Let's search. Bundi had fallen into a big, wide ocean. It was so much bigger than the river. He rode and danced on the waves as they whirled and crashed and swept him around. Then suddenly, he felt he was being dragged down through the water. Where was he going now? A strong current looked took little Bundi deeper and deeper under water. He came to a place that had plants and flowers and fishes of many colors. It was beautiful there, so deep, so dark, so different from the river. There were mountains with caves at the bottom of the ocean. Bundi swam in and out of them. Oh no! He almost went into the big mouth of a volcano. Bundi was happy in the ocean. Then again one day, he felt himself getting hot, rising up, cooling into a cloud. A new adventure? Where would he fall this time? True. So, now, this page is all about the signs behind Bundi's story. So I'll be reading this. So let's go. If we saw the earth from space, it would look blue. That is because over 70% of it is covered by water. We see water around us anywhere in the world, in seas, rivers, lakes and wells, coming out of taps, falling down as rain. All living things need water. Birds, animals and humans drink water and bathe in it. Humans also use water to cook. And still, the water doesn't get used up. Most places have water, sometimes more, sometimes less. But there is always water. This is because water doesn't really disappear from the earth. It only changes the way it looks. It is sometimes solid like ice or liquid like rain or in the seas and oceans. Sometimes it is a gas like steam or water vapor. Water vapor. Hmm. Tricky word. Water vapor. It means it's gas. When the sun is very hot, it melts ice into water. It also dries up the water on the ground. This is when water becomes a gas 
water vapor in a process called evaporation tricky word Era evaporation evaporation yes water vapor is light so it rises into the sky there it collects as clouds which grow heavy and turn back into liquid water this is condensation tricky word again condensation the water falls down as rain in winter or in the very or in very cold places the water that falls down from the sky is frozen as sleet or snow this is known as precipitation tricky word again precipitation this is the water cycle water going round and round in a cycle from the ground to the clouds and back to the ground this has been happening for millions of years over and over again so the water we see and use is actually very old rain fills up wells lakes rivers and seas it is also absorbed by the ground to form pools of water underground when there is too much rain there are floods which wash away homes and crops sometimes there is too little rain or no rain for a long time and then there is drought plants die and people and animals have no food and no water to drink some creatures live only in water so the seas and oceans have their own world inside them if you were to drain all the water from the sea you would find the seabed looking like land with plains mountains and valleys remember the time when bundi was about to get into a volcano that's how the seabed would look like it is because there is water on earth that there is life on earth this is amazing book it teaches us a great science lesson which we might start looking at in school right so as you now know and understand this is the story of water you can ask your mom and dad to show the process in the kitchen it sure is a fun way to understand when you see it by yourself ask them if they could show it to you if you like this video do hit the like and subscribe bye